Hi everybody, my name is Koi from Koi and Kitsune, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 20th Anniversary Edition. Uh, it is episode two, we're back in the city of Cornelia where we left off, and we're gonna do a little bit of a grind and then travel to, ooh, where do we have to travel to? I wanna say we have to go over the bridge and then back to, oh Jesus, uh, Palmacia, something like that. It's um, it's a port town where we fight a bunch of pirates. Um, I'll be honest, I don't exactly know what the heck this guy here is doing. He wasn't in the Dawn of Souls remake, so that makes me a little concerned, which means he's probably new to this edition. But we will leave we will leave him for when we're a little higher level. Okay, for those of you who aren't familiar with the format of these videos, first two or three battles I'm going to leave in so you guys can get an idea of what my characters can do, as well as boss battles. But anything past that, we're going to pause and cut out. So, something a lot of people don't know about Final Fantasy, even though it's this huge overarching series, there's over 20 games in the main series alone. Jeez. But, Final Fantasy would have been Square's final game. Or rather, not Square's final game. The... Uh, producers final game at Square he would have left the gaming industry afterwards if it failed Final Fantasy was also supposed to be called fighting fantasy uh, but they found out that the name of fighting fantasy was already taken they didn't really care what name they took as long as it could be shortened to FF which is, coincidentally, able to be shortened in both Romaji, which is the Japanese word for Roman characters, meaning the alphabet, and Kanji, or the Japanese characters themselves, which is how we ended up with Final Fantasy. Fortunately, for both Square and the producer, Final Fantasy ended up being a worldwide smash success. And if you notice that little jump there, it's because I just got hit with a bunch of goblins. So we are entering a new area, which means we're going to get new enemies. We've got wolves, we've got lizards so far. If we're unlucky, we might run into a gigas worm or a couple of ogres, maybe an ogre chief or an ogre mage. And if we're extremely unlucky, we might run into a crazy horse or... If we're extremely unlucky, a pair of crazy horses. Those are bad. Provoca. Provoca, that's what it's called. All right, so we've got 1,267 guild, or gil. First thing we want to do is kit out our black mage. Ooh, we're gonna need blizzard in some upcoming fights. And Temper, that raises an ally's attack. Darkness is also helpful. Darkness prevents the enemies from getting as many attacks in. Or, oh no, it, it lowers, their, lowers their accuracy. That's what Darkness does. So I was, I was wrong on that. Um, no, I did not say I wanted a hammer. Okay, one broadsword, one battle axe... 16 attack, 5 accuracy, 15 attack, 10 accuracy. 10 attack, 10 accuracy. So I'll get one scimitar and I maybe I could sell something. No, I can't. Okay. Then I just open up the BC area. So equip, rapier, scimitar. Okay, so we can definitely sell the rapier. 
for four gold. Okay. Well, we're not getting much out of that. All right. So, since we're already here in Provoca, we need to get a ship. And to get a ship, we go to this guy. Bick or Bicky or Bike or... He be a cloud pirate. Kill Harlem, boys. Okay. We'll make their bones go crunch. Yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, VeggieTales. Aye, aye, Captain Crunch. All right. So the pirates here are super easy. Really, all you have to do is attack them. Let's see. We can use Cure on our little Black Mage here. Black Mage will use Sleep on them. The pirates are really susceptible to Sleep. See, we got all but one of them. And thanks to our knight and our thief, or no, he's a warrior and a thief, we don't have very many issues. So magic will protect, no, no, protect the squishy, and we'll, uh, we'll hit them with darkness too, just in case. Oh, Jesus Christ, that sounds like farts. <laughs> it sounds like the Black Mage just released a cloud of farts all over them. And the pirates shouldn't have too much health, so we might be able to get them on our own. Oh, wow, yeah. So we'll just do that for the last ones. There we go. Pirates down. And we did get a couple... Oh, we got a leather shield there. And as payment, Bic will... Of course, he will swear to be making no more fuss. And he'll give us his ship. Ba -da. Which means we can now sail on the open seas. Okay, so, how much gold did we get? Um, we got a decent amount, not too much, but it's certainly... Okay, leather armor, chain mail, iron armor, Jesus. Leather, sh leather shield, we already have one of those. Leather gloves. We'll get four of those. And if he wants to, if he wants to get some iron armor, we'll just get that later. And there. Which means he should now be equipped, yep, with the leather shield too. And we can go back over to the attack shop, or the weaponry shop. Armory, I guess you would call it. Or artillery, maybe? I don't know. In old times, they'd call the armory wherever they got their weapons and equipment. But a battle axe is certainly going to be a little more help than a rapier. All right. Okay. Now, what can we do for the white mage? Nothing. We don't have enough gold. Okay, so since we've got a ship here, we're going to go out, we're going to sail. I'm going to show you guys a quick little mini game. This is actually the very first mini game you could ever find in any video game. It's called 15 Puzzle. And to access this, you hold, well, to access it in the original, you would hold B, no, you'd hold A and hit B 22 times. So. It should be X and O in the PlayStation version. Yep, just like so. So, this is super simple. As you can see, you have a grid of 15, 16 blocks here, and you need to put the numbers in order from 1 to 15, just like so. Now, you guys might wonder why I'm able to do this so fast, and if it's sped up, 
The answer is no, it's not sped up, actually. I've had a lot of practice playing this. And it's kind of embarrassing, actually. I used to play this when I was really bored. And as you see there, 36 seconds. We beat the second place record. And every time you win, you get a prize. If you beat a high score, in this case, I beat the second place record, which was um, maybe 45 seconds, you'll get a special reward. I got Turbo Ether or Ether Echo Grass. So we'll play it one more time just so I can show you guys. So in the PSP version, you hold X and hit O 22 times. All right. Once again, I'm just going to put. You always want to start with the, the first couple. All right. Just like so. All right. And we've run into a tiny problem here. You never want to have numbers where they're not supposed to be, obviously. But we can usually get this done in under two minutes. Yeah, like so. Um, so we'll do that. There's that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. There we go. The second row done. All right, there's that, there's that, there's that. All right, so as you can see here, we've got the third row done, but we've ended up with this here, which means there's a little trick. Let's go and do this. As you can see, we've got it all in order now. And it plays the victory fanfare. So what did we get? We got a potion. Okay, so... I'm going to do a mini game tutorial on this um, after this episode, or maybe after the third episode. So if you guys wanted to follow along and get super fast at this, you guys can play yourself. So, but back to the main game. What exactly does a turbo ether do? Oh, it's like a high elixir or something. Uh, restores 150 health, uh, magic, magic points. An echo grass cures silence. So, okay. New area, new enemies. We've got a shark and a Sahagan chief. So the thing about a lot of aquatic enemies is they are very, very allergic to thunder. Check the squishy. Oh, okay. So we'll give him, we'll cure our little squishy here, and then we'll defend. Yeah. See, one hit from the thief also is the same is the same amount of damage that the black mage did with his thunder. So, but real quick, can I justify it? Yeah, I'll justify it. So, we'll use our sleeping pack. But what we need to do... Okay, um, what is it? Select and B? No, B and select. B and select. Or O and select. We are here on this... This, um... Shining red dot, or shining white dot. Here's Cornelia, or Cornelia. Here's Pravica. And we need to go down here to Elfheim, which is where exactly where we're going to go. In Elfheim, we're going to find... Oh, jeez, what are we going to find? Level 3 and level 4 shops uh, for white and black magic. We're going to find out that the prince has some sort of curse placed upon him. Yeah. Yeah, so the prince definitely has a curse placed upon him. We've got 418 gold, so we can afford to rest. Because that last battle really killed us. Um, not literally, but took a, took a chunk out of our health. Alright, and before we go off and end this episode, I want to show you guys 
cute, a cute little, um, I guess you could call it an Easter egg. So this was made after the, the Famicom was released in Japan, which Americans know it as the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. Famicom simply means family computer. And this is Elfheim, okay? It's one of my favorite places. It's beautiful, layout's very nice. There's just one problem. It's, no, it's not this, this, uh, this big open field. Elfheim is home to elves, obviously. So, you see a gravestone. You see a gravestone. Here lies Link. Link is dead. They buried him in Elfheim. So yeah, Final Fantasy gave a, um, a cute little nod to The Legend of Zelda here. Here lies Link. I don't know if they wanted to sort of insinuate that Final Fantasy would be the, uh, the Zelda killer of series, if you will, but Zelda and Final Fantasy have certainly taken off, both of them. And it's kind of cute, honestly, because if you didn't know any better, you'd honestly think that this was some sort of jab against uh, The Legend of Zelda. But it's not, and it's, it's just a cute little Easter egg. So of course, you know, everyone, everyone likes it. No one gets hurt. All right, so we've got our Black Mage a new knife. Gonna go ahead and do a little bit of grinding back here. Just so you guys can see the sort of enemies we've got here over in Elfheim. So four wolves and a war wolf. And we're just gonna, let's see, what can we do? Well, first we're gonna protect the squishy. Uh, first rule of playing Final Fantasy, Jesus Christ, get your command straight. Okay, it, yeah, seriously, get your command straight. If you can't use proper commands, then you're going to die every time. Second rule, always protect the black mage. <laughs> Fart clouds. Uh, I know it's a little, I know it's a little immature, but um, I, I swear it's like the black mage just goes over and farts. It'd be even better if there was an animation. But you see there, the wolf just attacked the black mage, which normally would have taken a big chunk of his health, but since we used protect. He is safe from danger. Ah, because he doesn't have the evasion that the thief does, and he doesn't have the defense that the warrior does. So we give him some defense using uh, Protect, the Protect spell. And that's the, the glowing orange outline you see on him. So 47 experience, 46 gold. Not bad. And... We've got, yeah, I think I'm going to do one more battle just to show you guys. Oh, awesome. Three Gigas Worms and an Ogre. So this is perfect. We're going to bypass those Gigas Worms. We're going to protect the Squishy, just like always. And then we're going to see what we can do about those Gigas Worms. I believe Gigas Worms are weak to fire. They might be weak to ice. I forget which ones. And as you can see, one Gigas Worm took out half of uh, Vivi's health. So the sooner we can get the Protect spell on him, the better. All right, we're gonna attack. Attack the Ogre. Cure Vivi, you pathetic little squishy. And we're going to hit the All Foes with Darkness. So, Darkness is the physical version of Mute, which Mute, or Silence, yeah, Mute, Silence is the same thing. It inflicts the same, same status effect. Mute prevents your opponents from casting spells. Darkness prevents them from hitting you as often. And I don't know why I just went into the Magic's menu for 
the warrior, because the warrior has zero magic. And, okay, Dia is not going to help here. We will cure Link. Actually, we're going to cure Mikoto, because Mikoto is our white mage. And second, uh, third rule is always protect the white mage. If you have no white mage, you're dead. All right, 45 damage. Cure yourself. And Blizzard on the Ogre. Boom! All right. Decent haul there. Very decent haul. Okay, but anyways. Um, so. Yeah, so we're just going to stand right here. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We got our ship from Provoca, and we made it all the way to Elfheim. We saw Link's grave. And next episode, we're going to go see Matoya, and then do a crap ton of fetch quests. Because what is an RPG game if not just a giant fetch quest, right? Uh, in any case, next episode, we're going to do all of that jazz. And I hope to see you guys there. In the meantime, this has been Final Fantasy 20th Anniversary Edition. My name is Koi from Koi and Kitsune, and I hope you guys had fun. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!